Hello, Narwhals. In this video lesson, you are going to learn about a writing strategy that's going to make text-dependent analysis a lot easier. And that writing strategy is race. Our lesson goals for this video are to be able to answer these three questions. One, what is a race response? Two, what does race stand for? And three, how do I compose a race response? All right, let's dive in. So what is a race response? A race response is an answer to a text-dependent analysis question or prompt. A complete race response requires a couple things. It requires you to answer the question or prompt and point to evidence in the text that proves your answer right and explain how that evidence proves your answer right. The biggest difference between a regular question and a text-dependent analysis question is that a TDA question requires you to point to evidence in the text. Most often that occurs by saying something like, on page blah, the text states blah. Now I know that might sound like a lot, and it might even be intimidating to think about doing that without teacher help, but if you pay attention to this lesson video, you're going to learn the memory helper RACE, R-A-C-E, and that's going to make it pretty easy. The acronym and memory helper RACE stands for Restate, Answer, Cite Evidence, and Explain. Another way to think about it is restate the question or prompt, answer the question or prompt, cite evidence, which means to point to evidence in the text which proves your answer correct, and then finally to explain, which is explaining how your evidence proves your answer correct. I think the best way to show you this is probably just through a couple examples. So get ready for an easy, a medium, and a hard. All right, let's dive in with our easy example. Let's pretend that this was the passage you had to analyze. Diane's favorite class is engineering. Jerry's favorite class is French. April's favorite class is art. Darren's favorite class is lunch. So that's the passage. What if the prompt was, analyze the text to determine April's favorite class? Cite evidence to explain your response. Like I told you, this was an easy example. Here's what I would do for my pre-writing. I would write, restate, answer, cite evidence, and explain, and I would fill it in like this. I flip the question. April's favorite class is. I provide the answer, art. I explain where I found the answer. On page two, the text states, quote, April's favorite class is art. And then I explain. Now I'll take my pre-writing and I will turn it into a high quality short race response. April's favorite class is art. On page two, the text states, quote, April's favorite class is art. This shows that April's favorite class is art. Well, that was certainly easy. How about we try a medium example now? For the medium example, let's pretend the passage is, Diane prefers to play soccer and kickball in school. Jerry signed up for band, chorus, and orchestra. April wants to paint all day long. Darren always rushes to the cafeteria. What if your TDA prompt for that passage was, analyze the text to infer Diane's favorite class. Cite evidence to explain your response. So that word in the prompt infer is what makes this a medium because an inference requires you to figure something out without the author straight up telling you. I'm going to set up this response the same way for my pre-writing, writing, restate, answer, cite evidence, or explain. I'm going to take the question and restate it into Diane's favorite class is, and now let's try to figure it out. She prefers to play soccer and kickball in school. Well, her favorite class is probably gym. And I found that evidence on page one, and we'll take a look at my explanation when I give you the full paragraph response right here. Diane's favorite class is gym. On page one, the text states, quote, Diane prefers soccer and kickball in school. This shows that Diane loves to play sports in school. Her class is probably gym. I restated, I answered, I cited evidence, and I explained my answer. Now let's move on to our hard example. And for the first two, I didn't ask you to do anything. This time I'm actually gonna ask you to pause after I read the passage and the prompt and have you try to set it up yourself. So our passage for the hard example is thunder boomed and lightning flashed as the school buses unloaded into Marsh Creek sixth grade center. A row of colorful umbrellas were propped next to the entrance, causing a puddle to form. Mr. Cantwell walked into the front office with an annoyed expression on his face. His narwhal sweatshirt dripped water all over the secretary's desk. So what if my prompt was, why is Mr. Cantwell annoyed? Cite textual evidence to support your response. I would like you to hit pause right now and try to set up that pre-writing by writing restate, answer, cite evidence, and explain, and try to do those steps on your own. 
When you're ready, you can resume the video and compare your answers to mine. So go ahead and hit pause now and give it a shot. And here come my answers. Did you write something like, Mr. Cantwell is annoyed because, for your restate, he was caught in the rain without an umbrella or raincoat, for your answer. And what evidence did you cite? Did you say, on page six, the text states, quote, Mr. Cantwell walked into the front office with an annoyed expression on his face. His narwhal sweatshirt dripped water all over the attendant's desk. And for your explanation, did you put something like, this proves that Mr. Cantwell is annoyed because he was soaked from the storm? Hopefully your pre-writing looked similar to mine. I'm not going to read my whole paragraph response again, but this is what it would look like if I edited my pre-writing into a paragraph response. Alrighty guys, we have reached the end of this video lesson. By now you should be able to answer, what is a race response? What does race mean? And how do I compose a race response? If you're not quite sure, maybe rewind and rewatch that part of the video. If not, then you can stick with us and we're going to use this race response to solve a mystery.